welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar we continue to study hal sandhi or consonant sandhi hal sandhi is a sandhi that comes in place of a hal and hal is a consonant we classified hal sandhi into two broad classes ekasthanika ekadesha and ekasthanika dvyadesha ekasthanika ekadesha is one substituent which is replaced by one substitute ek sthani ek adesha whereas ekasthanika dvyadesha is one substituent which is replaced by two substitutes ek sthani dvi adesha ekasthanik ekadesha has been studied so far in this course in this lecture we shall start the study of ekasthanik dvyadesha one substituent being replaced by two substitutes this can be diagrammatically represented in the following manner where you have a plus b in the environment of b a is substituted by two a and x this is ekasthanika dvyadesha there are three instances of ekasthanika dvyadesha satva anuswara sandhi dvirvachana sandhi and also agama sandhi satva anuswara sandhi we shall be dealing with at the end primarily because of its relation with the next type of sandhi namely the visarga sandhi first we shall deal with the dvirvachana sandhi and then we shall study the agama sandhi first let us continue studying dvirvachana sandhi so what is dvirvachana the word dvirvachana has got two components dvihi and vachana dvihi means twice and vachana is utterance put together dvirvachana means uttering a verbal element twice reduplication in a nutshell what it means is that substituting one verbal element by two utterances of the same sound or same verbal element so if you have x given in an environment to utter this x twice so substitute this x by two utterances of the same x so this x x substitutes x this is how the substitution as far as the reduplication is concerned happens this is why this is described as dvirvachana sandhi where ekasthanika dvyadesha takes place here is a brief description of the reduplication in the ashtadhyayi the grammar composed by panini in the ashtadhyayi reduplication of elements is described at three places first in 6.1 sixth chapter first sub chapter and this is the reduplication of verbal root in various environments be it past perfect or be it desiderative root formation or frequentative root formation the verb and the verbal root gets reduplicated the rules 
describing this reduplication are stated in 6.1. Then we have another section at the beginning of 8.1 we have the sutras describing the reduplication of the finished words or padas sarvasya dve and finally we have a section in 8.4 which describes the reduplication of sounds mainly the consonants reduplication of consonants and this is what we are going to study in this particular lecture this is what is described as dvirvachana sandhi the dvirvachana replacing the one sound here are the sutras that we are going to deal with achorahabhyam dve 8446 anachicha 8447 nadinya kroshe putrasya 8448 sharochi 8449 triprabhrutishu shakatayanasya 8450 sarvatra shakalyasya 8451 and finally dirghad acharyanam 8452 let us take up the first sutra in this list namely achorahabhyam dve 8446 this particular sutra has got three padas achaha rahabhyam and dve achaha is 5/1 of ach ach is a vowel so achaha means immediately after a vowel rahabhyam is 5/2 of rah referring to the sounds r and h so rahabhyam means immediately after the sounds r and h dve is 1/2 of dvi meaning thereby two substitutes the words continued from the previous sutra are yaraha which is 6/ one of yar and we have seen that yar means all consonants minus h so yaraha means in place of yar that is all consonants minus h wa means optionally all these meanings put together the meaning of the sutra can be stated in the following manner in place of sound yar that is all consonants minus h substitute its two utterances when it it refers to yar when yar comes immediately after sounds r and h which come immediately after a vowel and do this substitution optionally i repeat in place of sound yar yaraha substitute its two utterances dve when it comes immediately after sounds r and h rahabhyam which comes immediately after a vowel achaha and do this operation optionally va this can be shown in the form of an equation in the following manner we have ach followed by r or h followed by yar so ach plus r plus yar or ach plus h plus yar and 8446 then applies and the output generated is ach plus r or h plus yar plus yar so this one yar is substituted by two yars and this substitution is optional which means that we can also have this as an output or this can also be another output let us look at the examples but before that let us study 
the structure in this particular reduplication sandhi, dvirvachana sandhi. Here we have A plus B plus C. So, A and B are the purva nimittas and C is the sthani, the substituent. So, when these nimittas exist, then this C gets substituted by CC. This is the reduplication. The most important part here to remember is that the environments, notably the left hand side environment, goes one more slot backwards. So far we have studied Sandhis where only B was the left hand side environment. Here we go one step backwards and include A as well in the left hand side environment. Here are the examples. Arkaha. Here we have A which is Ach followed by R followed by K which is Yar. And so this is Ach, this is R, this is K. Ach plus R plus K. And then this K gets reduplicated. This K is substituted by the twice occurrence of K by the application of 8446 and this is the output generated. Ar -kah. There are two kakaras. Similarly, Brahma. Here there is A after Br which is Ach followed by H. Now this H is also followed by M which is a Yar. And so this Yar gets substituted by its twice occurrence and so the output generated after the application of 8446 is Brahma. There are two Makaras. Similarly, Haryanu Bhavaha. Here we have A after her, which is Ach, followed by R, which is R in the Sutra, followed by Y, which is a Yar, and therefore this one Y is substituted by its two utterances. So you have Har Yanu Bhavaha as the output generated after the application of 8446. Similarly, Nahihasti. Once again, Nahihasti, and there is this Akara after Na, this is Ach, followed by Ha, followed by Ya, that is Yar. So this Ya gets reduplicated. And so we have the two yakaras being the substitute of one yakara. This is the output generated. Similarly, urja. This is u that is an ach followed by refa followed by j which is yar. So this yar gets reduplicated. This one yar is substituted by two yars and we get urja. We also note that all these outputs are optional, which means that the other non-reduplicated output is also available. Let us study the next sutra, which states this reduplication sandhi, which is anachicha. This is 8447. This consists of two words, anachi and cha. Anachi is 7 slash 1 of anach. Anach means absence of ach. Ach is a vowel. So, absence of a vowel. Anachi means immediately before the absence of a vowel. Cha means and. And the words that are continued from the previous sutra are achaha, 5 slash 1 of ach. Ach means a vowel. So, achaha means immediately after a vowel. Dve is 1 slash 2 of dvi. Dvi means here 2 substitutes. Yaraha is 6 slash 1 of yar, meaning all consonants minus h. So, yaraha means in place of yar and va means optionally. All this put together, the meaning of anachicha can be stated in the following manner. Immediately before the absence of a vowel, 
in place of year substitute its two occurrences if it means year comes immediately after a vowel and do this optionally. I repeat immediately before the absence of a vowel that is anachi in place of yar yaraha substitute its two occurrences dve if it it means yar comes immediately after a vowel achaha optionally that is va. So, here we have ach plus yar plus anach given these environments now this yar will be substituted by its two occurrences. So, the output generated after the application of 8447 is h plus year plus year plus anach and this reduplication is optional. This can be represented once again in the form of a diagram in this particular manner where we have a plus b plus c, a is the left hand side environment, c is the right hand side environment. In both these environments B is substituted by its own twice occurrences. So, A plus B plus C is the input and A plus B B plus C is the output. And here are the examples. So, when we have the dhyatra derived after the application of the sutra eco energy which has got dadhi and atra as input. So, we have the dhyatra. Now, here we have a coming after this the which is an ach after which comes the which is a year after which comes ya which is a non ach or anach. So, we have ach plus year plus anach and this year then gets reduplicated. And after the reduplication happens, the first the is substituted by the of after the application of the sutra jalam jash jashi, and so we get dad dhya atra dad There is the plus the plus ya, and this is optional. So optionally, we will also get dad Similarly, madhvatra. So, madhu plus atra and madhvatra. Now, once again here we have a after ma, this is the ach followed by dha which is yar followed by v which is anach. This is not a vowel. So, v is a consonant. So, we have ach followed by dha that is yar followed by v that is anach. So, the conditions for the application of 8447 are fulfilled and so this the is substituted by its two occurrences and so we have ma dha dha vatra the first dha is substituted by the by the application of the sutra jalam jash chashi and so we will get the output mad dhvatra of course this is optional so we will get mad dhvatra as another output. Let us proceed further and study the next sutra Nadinya Kroshe Putrasya 8448. So, this particular sutra has got four words Na, Adini, Akroshe and Putrasya. Na means not, there is a negation over here, negation of the two substitutes in place of one negation of the reduplication. The next word is adini. This word is in 7 slash 1 of the word adini with the sub suffix being deleted. And so, the word adini means immediately before the word adini. Akroshe is 7 slash 1 of akrosha that is censure. So, akroshe means in the sense of censure. Putrasya is 6 slash 1 of putra meaning thereby of putra as part of put, the word putra. And of course, dve continues which is 1 slash 2 of dvi 
which means two substitutes. So the meaning of this sutra is the following. In the sense of censure, reduplication does not happen in the word putra, which comes immediately before the word adini. So when we have a compound putra and adini and when there is a krosha intended by the speaker, the speaker wants to censure somebody, so putra adini, then you do not have the reduplication. Putradini tvamasi pape. So we have putradini without ta being reduplicated. If we have this particular word written, this is not allowed, this is negated. So you see there is this ta coming twice, this ta plus ta and r. This is not possible. This is negated by 8448. Putradini, this form is in fact generated by the process of samasa or the compounding. This is the negation of the two substitutes or the reduplication. Let us proceed further and study 8449. 8449 is Sharochi. There are two padas in this sutra. Sharaha and Achi. Sharaha is 6 slash 1 of Shar. Shar stands for sounds Sh, Sh and S. So Sharaha means in place of these three sounds. Achi is 7 slash 1 of Ach meaning immediately before a vowel. The words continued from the previous sutras are achaha 5 slash 1 of ach that is vowel so immediately after a vowel rahabhyam is 5 slash 2 of raha that is sounds r and h and so rahabhyam means immediately after r and h. Then we have dve which is 1 slash 2 of dvi meaning two substitutes and we also have N continued which means not or negation. After having put all these meanings together, we get the following meaning of the sutra namely in place of shar is its reduplicated utterance is not substituted when it is preceded immediately by ra and her which are preceded in their turn immediately by a vowel and when it is followed by a vowel. When shar is followed by a vowel, to put it in the form of an equation, we can say that ach plus r or h plus shar plus ach. Given this environment, ach plus r or h plus shar plus ach. Given this environment, this shar is not substituted by its reduplication. So we have the example karashati where this a is an ach followed by r followed by sh which is a shar followed by another vowel a over here. So we have ach plus r plus shar plus ach. In this case this shar namely sh is not substituted by its reduplication. So it remains as karshati, no optional reduplication is available. Similarly, adarshaha. So there is this ach after the followed by repa, r, followed by sh, which is shar, followed by a, which is ach. So we have ach plus r plus shar plus ach. And then this sh in this particular environment is not substituted by its reduplicated utterance. In both these cases and all these cases, it is acho rahabhyam tve which is prescribing, which is describing the reduplicated utterance substituting this 
yer consonant, this shar consonant, but this particular sutra states that if there is an additional right hand side environment of an ach, then this shar is not reduplicated. This shar is not substituted by its reduplicated utterance. This is a negation once again. Then let us proceed further and study this next sutra, Triprabhrutishu Shakatayanasya. This sutra has got two words, Triprabhrutishu, which is 7 slash 3 of Triprabhruti. Triprabhruti means 3 onwards. Triprabhrutishu means in 3 onwards. Shakatayanasya is 6 slash 1 of Shakatayana. This means in view of. Words continued are dve and na. And so, the meaning of this particular sutra is in the view of Shakatayana, which is a name of a grammarian, in the view of Shakatayana, in a cluster of three onwards sounds, the reduplication does not take place. The substitution in the form of reduplication does not happen. For example, Indraha. Indraha, we have E followed by N, followed by D, followed by R and then a vowel. Now we have N, D and R, three consonants. Now in this case, this N is not reduplicated. This is not substituted by its reduplication. See this E is an H followed by N which is a yar followed by the which is an anach. So anachicha would substitute this na by its reduplication. But now in view of shakatayana this does not happen. So we get the form indraha as written over here. Similarly rashtram here we have a followed by sh, followed by t, followed by r. So, sh, t, r, these are the three consonants coming together without any vowel in between. Now, according to the view of Shakatayana, sh is not substituted by its reduplication primarily because there are three consonants coming together. Probably this also reflects the limitation a human being can be said to have in uttering consonants continuously. Next we have the Sutra Sarvatra Shakalyasya, which is a very important Sutra 8451. This Sutra has got two words. Sarvatra and Shakalyasya. Sarvatra means everywhere. Shakalyasya is 6 1 of Shakalya, which means in view of Shakalya. Dve and Na are continued, and so the meaning of the sutra is in view of Shakalya, reduplication does not occur anywhere. There is no reduplication at all. So, for example, Arkaha, according to Shakalya, there is no reduplication. According to Shakalya, in Brahma, there is no reduplication. In Dadhyatra as well, according to Shakalya, there is no reduplication. Finally, we have Dirghadacharyanam 8452. This sutra has got two padas, Dirghad and Acharyanam. Dirghat is 5 slash 1 of Dirgha. Dirgha means a long vowel. So, Dirghat means immediately after a long vowel. Acharyanam is 6 slash 3 of Acharya in view of teachers. Dve and Na are continued. So, the meaning of the sutra is in view of some teachers, reduplication, substitution does not happen after a long vowel. 
So, we have examples patram and datram where we have pa having the vowel a which is a long vowel followed by t followed by r. So, this is ach plus t that is yar plus r that is anach and so anachicha can apply over here. But according to this particular sutra there is no reduplication that happens in this particular environment dirgha vowel coming before. Similarly sutram there is this long u followed by t followed by r. So, long u is ach followed by t which is a yar followed by r which is an anach. So, anachicha would apply over here but 8452 says that after a long vowel there is no reduplication substitution that takes place. After having studied the sutras, let us also study a vartika, which is stated by the vartika kara, and this vartika notes down a view of one of the grammarians called Paushkara Sadi. The vartika is Chayodvitiya Shari Paushkara Sadehe. So, this particular vartika has got four padas. Chayaha, Vitiyaha, Shari and Paushkara Sadehe. Chayaha is 6 slash 1 of Chai. Chai stands for consonant 1, class 1. Ch, T, T, P and K. Shari is 7 slash 1 of Shar. That is Sh, Sh and S. So, Shari means immediately before. Dvitiyaha is 1 slash 3 of Dvitiya. Second of the class consonants. And Paushkara Sadehe is 6 slash 1 of Paushkara Sadi, which is the name of the Acharya or the teacher. So, the meaning of this Vartika is in view of Paushkara Sadi, immediately before Shar, Chai is substituted by the second of the class consonants. So, we have Chai plus Shar, and this Chai is substituted by Kh plus Shar. Kh being a pratyahara that is formed by the consonant kh and the vowel a which is specially designed for the purpose of this particular pratyahara. Otherwise, there is no mechanism in the pratyahara sutras stated by Panini at the beginning of his ashtadhyayi to denote the second class consonants. So, this pratyahara can be invented in order to denote the second class consonants and so we use kh over here. One more thing we will have to do, we will have to say that a is also nasal in this particular pratyahara. So, the examples are vats where we have v followed by t and then s. Now, because this s is a shar, this t is optionally substituted by the second of its class that is th. So, we have vat s optionally. Then we have kshira in which there is k and sh and this k now is substituted by kh. So, we have kshira apsaraha where this s is preceded by p which is a chai. So, this is substituted optionally by the second of its class namely pho, apsaraha. To summarize, consonant reduplication is an optional phenomenon in many of the environments. Except in one case, meaning is not taken as an input in the process of reduplication of consonants. Some reduplications are bound by two left hand side environments and also at the same time by one right hand side environment. This reduplication is described at the fag end of the Ashtadhyayi, which indicates that the output of this reduplication does not become input for any other rules. This is the description of the Dvirvachana Sandhi that we have finished today. Next, we study the Agama Sandhi.
थैंक यू फॉर योर अटेंशन